All right, good afternoon, everyone. Let's go ahead and digitize the Avengers logo. This should be quick and simple. So once you find your image off the internet, go ahead and just paste it in. All right, so let's go ahead and make this. I always like to have it three and a half inches tall for my patches. So once we have that, let's go ahead and lock it and zoom in a little bit and let's start creating our patch. So go ahead on the left, let's go ahead and digitize. Digitize close shape. Let's go ahead and zoom in, click your first point, and then you can hold control down and make sure it stays on a nice straight line. Let's go ahead and come up and just start going around your shape. Again, control, control, come straight down, and then just keep going around. Control, let's come up and do the top. And this shouldn't take very long just to go around. Now coming around this curve, you're going to want to start it by clicking the right mouse. It's going to start clicking these points around. And then once you want to stop where it goes into the straight line, click your left click. And it's going to make it a straight pivot point. All right. So now that we're going around the edge, you want to use your right click to keep that curve going up around. I like to use those same points. And now that we're going to the end, finished off with the left click, we're going to come up hold down control, keep that straight line, and then we're gonna come back down. All right, keep going with your right clicks all the way around, and then left click on the end, left click, and then we're gonna go back to our right clicks, making sure we keep those in line. Since this is a closed shape, we don't need to click down here, you can just go ahead and enter, and it's gonna create our pretty much Avengers logo. Let's go ahead and digitize this part real quick. Again, digitize close shape. Let's go ahead and just make our simple triangle. Oops, messed that one up. If you ever mess up like that, just go ahead and hit the space bar and it's gonna release the last node. So again, control, click, and then enter to close up that shape. All right, so now let's go ahead and pick a, um, pretty much create our patch and border. So I'm going to select all of our objects. Let's just go ahead and group them. And then let's go ahead and click it. And then over here on the left-hand side, create layouts. Come down to create outlines and offsets. All right, so an outline will just outline the image and offset will actually pretty much offset that patch border. And then I'm gonna change the corners to a sharp corner. And then make sure it's click satin and let's do let's do about 0.2 and hit okay all right perfect so these inside images you can just go ahead and click and delete and i'm going to change it to metric i haven't done the math to see what four millimeters is in us so i'm going to go ahead and change that with two four millimeters and there you go you have a nice patch border with sharp edges. All right, so now big thing on this patch border is go to stitching. All right, so for your underlays, you wanna make sure you got an edge run and then a double zigzag, all right? And if you hit T, it's gonna show you underneath and these patch borders is this line's gonna be your edge run on both sides. All right, and then you got your double zigzag, just kind of make sure that patch border, a lot of that fabric doesn't stick through. All right, so once you're done, you have your patch. All right, let's go ahead and change it to black. And this can be more along the lines of your like Hulk theme patch. Now, if you want to just leave this patch like this, that is perfectly fine. This is what's called an applique patch where you use the fabric as the backing of the patch. I prefer a full fill patch. I think it just gives more of a patch like feel. So what I'm gonna do is click just the border and let's go ahead and come up here and hit duplicate. If you go to your sequence, you'll now see you have your inside and then two outlines. I'm gonna click this first one and I'm gonna go ahead and change it up here to a fill. All right, then select it on your sequence and hit move to the top and now you have your full fill patch. 
And this is where we can start to do a little bit more design elements. You can click the inside and change it to whatever color you like. If you want like a pink patch, a yellow patch, you can go ahead and look at creating those for whatever style you want. You can even uh, select the inside, change it to white. This lettering will change it to blue and then change this one to red. And then you got more of a Captain America type patch. One thing to add, so I know full fill patches um, feel a lot better in my opinion, but just look at the amount of stitches that it is. So down here, you have your stitch count. You have almost 18,000 stitches. If we go ahead and remove that um, full fill portion, you're at about half that. So that really saves you a lot of time on the machine if you just do the applique style patch. But I usually do end up just going with the full fill patch. So that's just my opinion. And that's pretty much all there is. So if you zoom in, you got your inside and your outside and that should stitch out just fine. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope it stitches out well.